Hi everyone, this is Tiffany, your host, owner, and creator of The Mix. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Shout out to subscriber 105. Shout out to subscriber 105. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, everyone specifically, everyone who has subscribed, everyone who has been um, following my channel and supporting my channel from day one, which is probably what I started posting last year, end of December. So I really appreciate it. Can't thank you guys enough. Um, more content coming soon, as always, and more updates to my channel. So just stay connected um, and hit the like, share, and subscribe button while you're here right now. <laughs> Um, but nevertheless, this is a sports video. You guys see I have on my socks, hats, have on my Boston jackets. <laughs> I'm not a huge sports fan. Not like I used to be. Usually, well, in the past, I really enjoyed the NBA. I'm from the Bulls era, MJ era, Chi-Town era. Um, what Detroit Pistons, Larry Bird, and them. Then you got what the Kevin Garnett's coming into the league straight out of high school, and uh, you know, I think he came straight out of high school, but um, then you got the Paul Pierce and the, the young Kobe that the competitive era, the Ray Allen's, the oh my gosh, who else? Ray Allen, what Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman. Magic Johnson, um, Joe Dumars, um, David Robinson, and like when it was super competitive, and I guess when there wasn't so many rules. <laughs> um, so I don't follow basketball like I used to. I'm just not invested in it like that, but I, I tap in here and there. So this is a sports video about Kyrie Irving. And I like Kyrie Irving. Um, like I said, I don't follow sports like I used to. I, I was an NBA gal. Um, who, who else? Uh, Vince Carter. I really loved Vince, Vince Carter back in the day. I mean, yeah, all oh, those was the good old days. But nevertheless, okay. Who? Um, yeah, back to <laughs> Kyrie Irving. So I do like Kyrie Irving. Um, I notice, and I keep up with some of the sports like updates and news and all of that stuff here and there. Um, I just think this era is just completely, I'm not going to be politically correct right now. I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and say it. It's soft. A, bu a bunch of marshmallow puffs <laughs> playing in the league now. Uh, stacking the games, you know, with players. <laughs> hint, hint, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, to me, it's just not competitive. It's not fair. I like the way, well, I, as a player, I used to like D-Way. He sort of came from that competitive era when he won his first championship with the uh, Miami Heat. But uh, nevertheless, Kyrie Irving, I, I like him um, as a player. He His tenacity and all of that. It just, um, I like who else? Steph Curry. Um, what's the guy who played for, who used to play for Toronto that won? Forgot his name. I like him. Uh, I just like competitive players players that go that was once underrated possibly like Steph Curry was underrated and um, um the guy who played for um Toronto who won I forgot his name but they always say he he never played <laughs> like Kyrie Irving they say he never plays but hey work life balance work life balance can't play <laughs> But that's the era we're living in, y'all. That's the era we're living in, work-life balance. So nevertheless, what do you guys think about Kyrie Irving going to the Mavericks? Um, I like the Mavericks organization, um, the owners. I really, really like them um, for a variety of reasons. Anyway, Kyrie Irving, in my opinion, I believe he, of course, the reason why he left New York, first of all, they they treated him horribly um, due to the mandate. So I really believe he chose Dallas because that's 
let's be clear, let's be transparent and be if we want to be real about it. A lot of states, um, when the mandates were implemented, like heavy in the beginning, especially, the states that were following the mandates the most, uh, who were like pretty much forcing it or you and you were losing your job were uh, the democratic states yeah the re- red states let's just say it let's just be transparent and real they weren't really too much following the mandates you got florida you got georgia you got texas they weren't really following the mandates it was come on now just go back do your research and you'll see so I don't blame Kyrie. I don't blame him at all. Um, He stood 10 toes down on his beliefs. And I believe that that was the driving force of him uh, leaving the Nets. I I knew it was eventually going to happen um, and for a couple other reasons as well, but I'm not going to get into that. But mainly, uh, and and I can't do nothing but respect his decision at wanting to leave. Um, It was a bad relationship. They didn't support him. You know, I I feel that they didn't support him. Like I said, I don't follow the NBA, but I do follow Kyrie Irving on social media. (laughs) I just like Kyrie Irving. He's just, he's a man of principle, in my opinion. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but it's just my opinion. I feel that he's a man of principle and um, that speaks volumes. I like that in a person. So yeah, Um, and he stood 10 toes down. But yeah, so what do you all think um, about the Mavericks trade, <laughs> especially right, right before the All-Star game, Ooh, All-Star week? Ah. <laughs> Kyrie went to a red state, <laughs> so he won't have to worry about none of that anymore unless they elect a blue person, <laughs> if you get my drift. But yeah, nevertheless, yeah, I don't blame him. He did what was right for himself as, as his family. And um, hey. It is what it is, and I'm not mad at him. I'm happy he made that decision. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm, I like that he's a man of principle, um, and he doesn't come off to me, in my opinion, based off of what I'm seeing. He doesn't come off as malice or anything, or like he's intentionally trying to harm anyone in any way, shape, or form. I love it when someone stands up for themselves. I love it I, that I'm inspired by that, you know. But yeah, it seems like um, a lot of people are not too happy about this. Excuse me, you guys. I'm just sipping wine. <laughs> Don't want to drop this wine on my carpet. Whew, I've had a, the past few weeks have been pretty long. <laughs> I'm going to say rough, but pretty long in terms of trying to manage YouTube and my nine to five and personal obligations and responsibilities and commitments here and there. So, hey, bear with me. A girl needs a little r and R. I need to go ahead and do a whole little spa getaway or something too for myself and um, go from there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I am so happy that Kyrie is going <laughs> to a red state to play. <laughs> Uh, for the Mavericks. So what are your thoughts? Uh, Let's just, again, let's be clear. Let's be transparent. I'm sure that was one of the main reasons why he left. You, how he was treated during the mandate. Like how you, what? (laughs) You know, and, um, and I'm not anti this or that, but you can't force people to do certain things to their body that they don't want to do. Um, the my body, my choice, that should apply in all areas, you know, so ugh, you only get one life, you only get one body. So it's to me, in my opinion, it's your um, responsibility to make whatever decisions uh, over yourself, as long as you're in your right mind, you know, sound mind and all of that. Um, so and there's no indication that Kyrie wasn't in his own mind, you know, he wasn't under some type of um, rule or law to say that, you know, a conservatorship, I guess, <laughs> you know, he wasn't under that. So, I mean, he had a choice, you know, to each his own, to each his own. I'm not against anything, but what I am not um, cool with <laughs> is someone forcing someone to do something 
um, against, you know, their own will, especially something that is questionable. It is. It's questionable. It's just like you can go and I'm not trying to go oh, because I'm not a physician. I'm not none of that. I'm just going off of, hey, it's just like you can like allergies. Say you have a allergic, you have allergies or uh, that's a semi condition or whatever you have. You go take over the counter medicine. It's your choice to pick whatever medicine, what is prescribed for you or whatever medicine is suggested or whatever medicine you research and feel that's good for you to try to uh, mitigate your allergies, you know, and it has labels on the, the uh, over-the-counter medication, what could possibly happen. So it is your choice based off, and then the information is there. So you're there, you are able to make that choice yourself. You're able to make that choice yourself based off of the information presented to you. So no one is forcing you to go get this type of allergy medicine or that type of allergy medicine. And um, yeah, so that's my opinion on that. But I am so happy that Kyrie <laughs> left. <laughs> and, um, you know, we can see the state of the world, the state of the United States, where it's at um, right now. Everybody has their own views and own opinions, and I'm not here to force anything or anyone and vice versa. You can't force nothing on me <laughs> as well. So. But yeah, what are your thoughts about Kyrie leaving, um, asking for the trade, leaving New York <laughs> and going over to Dallas and going over to Dallas? Kyrie is a phenomenal player. He's a champion. Don't forget that. He won a championship with LeBron James, what, in Cleveland. And um, actually, he was the driving force of them winning that championship, if you want to ask me. You know, like I said, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm quite sure his reason for requesting a trade, because I do believe I read somewhere that he requested the trade, that, um, yeah, that was one of the driving forces behind that, the things that he's experienced in New York with the Nets organization. So, I mean, hey, you know, it's just it's just like this. It's a bad relationship, a bad marriage. So, uh, you got to reevaluate things. Decisions have to be made, and he made what's best. He made the best decision um, for himself and his family, and rightfully so. He's his own man. He's a man, you know. So, with anyone. So, um, but yeah, let's get the discussion going. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Um, and also, I do believe he may be a good. I, mean, I won't say maybe. He'll be a great asset. Harry is a champion. He'll be a great asset. I don't get into all of that commentary with some of these sports commentators about workload and how he doesn't play and this and that. So what? Like I said, we're living in a different era. <laughs> Work-life balance. And that's in every area. <laughs> Work-life balance. That's just the culture we're in now. <laughs> Work-life balance. Whatever industry you're in. Hey, you know, someone. And then, too, if he's injured or her, it, sometimes it's like, why do they kind of, you know, I don't know, it's being reported, well, I've read in the past how sometimes they'll, I, I guess, it's like there's a lot of pressure on these players to play um, am it, uh, an injury, you know, so, and it's like they're not fully healed, a medical report or x-rays may say this or that, and they're pushing it to come back, you know, so um, I think that's what happened with Clay. Thompson, when he played for Golden, well, he still plays for Golden State, but that time that they um, lost, and they, I think they lost against um, LeBron at that time because of his injury, and then um, Draymond Green. Like I said, I don't watch sports. It may sound like I watch it, but I just don't really watch it like that. I like the competitive, competitive NBA games. <laughs> you know, competitive the tenacity. I like competition friendly competition obviously healthy competition obviously you know so um but yeah i think that was that period of time um when clay got re-injured or something but you know and i think he took like a whole year and uh oh no and no it wasn't him it was uh kevin durant it was kevin durant i think both of them was injured that particular time but yeah they pushed kevin durant um not they well it's alleged that you know i guess he felt pressured quote unquote you know, so, but yeah, um, what are your thoughts on Kyrie Irving? 
like I said, this is sports edition, sports video. Do I watch baseball? Absolutely not. I just like the hats. Um, but I have went to, I've had to a few baseball games. And honestly, I like baseball games in person as opposed to on television. I don't know. It seems more exciting in person. So I like it in person. Um, but yeah, yeah. So let's get the conversation going. What are your thoughts on Kyrie Irving? Um, being traded to the net, not traded to the Mavericks. And um, will he make a great asset? Asset? Yes, I believe he will. He will be a great addition. And I believe they'll be contenders this second half of the, um, towards the end of the season. And um, yeah, that's the West. Yep. Yeah, that's the West. That's the West. Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, that's the West. That's the West. So yeah. So yeah, I believe he will be a great asset. Dallas will be probably be a contender, strong contender for the playoffs. Um, I might just Google some information on it because, like I said, I don't be watching it like that. So, but yeah, uh, but I like Kyrie Irving. I like him. I like his, what he stands on, his principles, and all of that. So, um, nevertheless, like, share, subscribe to my channel. This is Tiffany, your host owner and creator of the mix talk to you all soon comment comments comment let me know your thoughts you guys let's engage one another and get the conversation going talk to you all soon bye